congratulations on your promotion to vice president. In many organizations, this is the first rung of the officer role, and it's important. Kudos to you. Now, in most organizations, they don't give you a whole set of different trainings than what you might have had to say, oh, now you're a vice president. We are expecting A, B, and C from you. But they are expecting something different from you than what you have already contributed in the organization that got you to that point. So here are a few tips that I think will help you as you now put on this new jersey of being an officer and a vice president of the organization. The first thing is that now people are expecting you to show even more that you can innovate, that you can set the agenda, that you know how to motivate and inspire a team to deliver on a specific objective. I remember when I was first a vice president many, many years ago, it took me a while to realize that there needed to be a shift in my mind from being just an individual contributor to also having some leadership or being able to exhibit some leadership traits. Because now, instead of just being the one responsible for doing the analysis, I was also responsible for doing the analysis in many cases, even in this new vice president role, but I was responsible for during the first draft of what the agenda might have been as we go to see a client, making sure that I call the client ahead of time to make sure that what we were planning to talk about was, was consistent with what they wanted to know about. I was the one now directing the associates and the analysts and setting the timelines when things were due. So it took me a minute to shift my mind from being a doer to being a doer and a leader because generally at the vice president level, you're still responsible for doing a few things. It's also important that you make sure that you are, let me see how I put this, rejuvenating your network. While it is important to stay close to some of the people that you have gotten to know over the course of your few years at the organization, it's really important now that you make sure that you have a broad network at the vice president's level but that you also start networking above that because those relationships will be key to moving you from vice president to senior vice president, executive vice president, or executive director, or whatever the next rung might be in your organization. Asking provocative questions in meetings, especially when you are meeting with people more senior. And I don't mean provocative like something that people will go, oh, I mean, provocative questions where they can tell you're being thoughtful. You're thinking about the next step and the step ahead of that. And those questions are germane to what's being discussed. The next thing that you should make sure that you are thinking about as a vice president is thinking about your people. Again, as an individual contributor, you were responsible for making sure you got the work in on time and that it was error free but now you are also giving direction to other people. You wanna make sure that you are clearly defining success. If you are working with a relatively junior group of people, you might wanna check in more often to make sure that they are comfortable asking you questions because no matter how many times you say, come to me, ask me questions if you have a question, if people are new to you as a leader, then they're still going to be somewhat reticent about asking those questions. So making sure that you are visible and that you are available and don't forget to be very, very liberal with the Atta boys and the Atta girls. If people realize that you are supporting them, that you're interested in their success, they're going to work that much harder, which will serve you well in that vice president's role. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where all of a sudden you have gotten promoted and you are now managing some of your peers, then it's gonna be important to call a thing a thing. I am so proud to be able to have gotten promoted and I'm looking forward to doing what I can to make sure that the rest of you guys come along with me. We are going to be successful together because I can't be successful without you and I'm dedicated to your success to make sure you can be as successful as possible. Those kinds of conversation with your peers will be important. Because if people think all of a sudden now that you think you are much better than them because you got promoted three months, six months, a year before they did, then you can please believe that they will deliver just the job description and not the extra. And when you're sitting in the leadership seat, you want the job description and the extra. 
And that will all come from showing that you appreciate your people, that you value their contributions, and that you are now committed to their success. Go get them.